Uh, welcome back everyone back with a new video of Tokyo Go Dark Wars. So today's video we'll be talking about the best, not best, but uh, okay, you can consider it the best, but the best three tank SSRs. Uh, since I've been getting a lot of questions about them, uh, specifically, uh, you know, the SSRs, uh, Arima Exa, Shinohara Rada, and Kurara Rada. Uh, since everyone's, since they are easily attainable now, uh, a lot easier than before. Karai Rider was the only top up, uh, but now er everyone can get them. So it's wise to make the video since I have been getting a lot of questions asking about uh, which tank is the best out of Arima, Shinohara, and Karai Rider since they are only literally the only tanks in the game at the moment when it comes to SSRs. Um, obviously, there are some good SR tanks such as Amon Dojimo uh, and Kori Ui if you do not have Arima X or Shinohara Rada and. Um, Kurara Rada. So, those two SRs are still very, very good tanks. Same thing with NR Amon. Good as well, but there's this a meat tank basically. Kori does something, Amon does something as well. Both stun, both regen health. Um, very, very, very nice. So, but main topic is best SSS, best SSR um, out of the three Arima Ixa, Shinohara Rada, Kurara Rada. So, let's start off with Shinohara Rada since he is brand new. Uh, I did talk about Shinohara Rada in the character review, but I'll talk about him again. Uh, so, he's a bit different. Uh, let's talk about his skills first, and then I'll give you my thoughts about him. Uh, deal damage to enemies in a straight line, reducing their attack speed by 30% for 3 seconds. That's a very, very good attack. For a tank character, reducing their attack speed is very, very important. It's much better than slowing down characters. Reducing their attack speed means you take less damage, so pretty good. Whirlwind attack. Uh, spin is quinque quickly to attack enemies several times, dealing damage, dealing damage to enemies within range each time. So basically, the ability does nothing besides damage. Uh, for a DPS, that's really not that great in my opinion. Um, next ability, uh, I can't read it, I'm gonna go down here. Uh, how and deal damage to enemies within range. Create a shield that can block skill damage once immune to skill damage for 5 seconds. Uh, so, he could take one normal hit, but he cannot take the second hit. That's literally what it means. If the ability hits one time, he is in the clear. Um, this ability is very, very nice for a tank character, specifically because it does something. It does like a range, a range, it does like a heal, a block, uh... First, let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it. The best thing for a tank character to have is a skill that does something, such as reduce attack speed, uh, shield, regain health, a taunt, all that stuff. It's literally perfect for a tank character. Uh, this ability is nice for a tank for Shinohara. Uh, he can block one ability, one hit of ability. Let me rephrase that. One hit um, is good and then bad because more than likely when it comes to a DPS character they will hit multiple times they will not hit one time it will be multiple times um, so Nora could do his blood rain and that will break the Shinohara Arata's shield and then he will get hit by the first skill and then it's basically he's GG he's dead um, so it's really bad <laughs> that it's only one time so mm, yeah. Uh, next ability, Rabbit Spin. Yeah, this is his passive. Each attack has a chance to stun a target. Each enemy hero can only be stunned once in 5 seconds. If the enemy hero has a passive aura effect that increases the target's stun chance by 30%. So, without the passive aura, there's a 12% chance of it stunning uh, your abilities to stun. Um, next, it has a passive. If they have a passive aura such as Noro, they get a 30% chance increase so it'll go from 12 to 42 percent obviously when you do upgrade this skill i'm pretty sure it's 50 percent um fully before you have to waste character shards i'm pretty sure it's like 50 percent 52 percent around there that you could stun people that have aura like noro his passive increase everyone's attack speed toko rabbit increase everyone's attack speed uh Karan Rada and Arima Ixa at 5 star though, at 5 star, yes, at 5 star. I'm pretty sure those two unlock abilities at 5 star, that gives everybody some shield. Uh, so Arima Ixa, actually no, 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 the, no, those don't count, actually no, no, no. This is passive aura, okay, okay, I was completely wrong, my bad, wrong on that. <laughs> I'm wrong on that, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong on that. Um, so, but overall, he is still a good tank. If you don't have Shirima Ixa, Kurai Rod, he is a good tank. Um, so ranking the list, basically, he is third one. That's why, I, literally, I started with him. Uh, he is the third best SSR. Uh, so now, next, number two on the list would be, in my opinion, Kurai Rada. Uh, my list could probably change right now, actually, because I haven't looked at what he does. But specifically, shoo, you know what? Let me rephrase it. Let me look at Kurai Rada first before I talk about this. 
Uh, first ability, Collapse. Jumps in, smashes w with a weapon on his hand, dealing damage strike to the surrounding enemies, inflicting damage, bonus damage at of 2.5 to targets who have HP lower than 40%. So basically a nuke if they have lower than 40%. Uh, reach hold of weapons with both hands and slashes with great strength, dealing damage, taunting surround enemies, and reducing their attack speed by 50%. That is very, very nice. A taunt, deal damage, uh, reducing their attack speed by 50%. So it's a taunt, and he reduces their attack speed. That's very, very nice. Next is leader. Uh, get down on one knee, smash the ground with one punch, one, and enter the leader status after shocking nearby enemies. Increase the caster's damage reduction and shared damage received by teammates for 5 seconds. So that's literally for everybody. Everyone receives less damage. Um, increases the damage reduction and shared damage received. Yes. So that's basically increase the caster's damage reduction and shared damage received by teammates. So literally, it's like a damage reduction for everybody. So next is his passive. The teammate with the lowest HP will gain a 10% damage reduction shield. Very, very nice. Uh, he has basically two of his abilities. Same thing as Shinohara when it comes to doing something like, you know, heal, taunt, uh, shield, and all that. Uh, has the ability to... Ability with the ability, or has an effect with the ability. Uh, so it's very, very nice. Uh, the attack speed taunt, very, very good. Leader, damage reduction is pretty good. First ability is, is a, basically a nuke. Uh, and he gives everybody, he gives somebody with the lowest HP a 10% damage reduction shield. Uh, five star, uh, okay, four star damage resist, 12.8%. Dam at five star, damage resist, 16%. Passive skill gives all your teammates a damage reduction shield. Um, so literally at five star, he's very, very good. He gives everyone a passive skill that gives... Basically, he gives everyone a damage reduction shield. That's pretty good. Uh, and it's a 10% reduction at the moment. Obviously, at 5-star, when the skill upgrades, probably at around 20, 25-ish uh, damage reduction shield, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, let me go look at Shinohara, actually. Uh, where is he? Shinohara Arata. Where are you? I just lost you. It's DPS. No wonder. So at 5-star, what does Shinohara get? He gets damage reduction, 16% of 4. 5-star, he gets life 20% gives all your teammates a damage reduction shield. Um, create a shield that can block skill damage once. Okay. So it's basically the same thing. Give all your teammates a damage reduction shield. But it doesn't really specifically say how much. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really specifically say how much when it comes to his damage reduction on the shield. Uh, but... Comparing Kurara Rada and Shinohara Rada, I think they're around the same ballpark. Honestly, Kurara Rada is probably better. Let me go look. Only reason being, let me see. Let me see if his equipment is still the same. So defense, 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 defense. Okay, so Shinohara is fine. Because at first, it was a balance set and it was very iffy about that point. But... They made him good. They made his links a little bit better. Um, but comparing Karara Arata and Shinohara Arata, they basically do the same thing. The only problem is Shinohara does not show you how much percent damage reduction it will do. Uh, but I think I would prefer Karara Arata more than Shinohara, specifically for the taunt and attack speed reduction. Uh, because I, didn't, I think Karara... Let me check Shinohara one more time. He has no taunt, right? He... So... Yeah, Shinohara is in third place, Kurara is in second. I would rather have the taunt and reduce an attack speed on the same skill over no taunt at all. Um, and Shinohara only blocks one ability, one hit of ability. It's very not that helpful in my opinion. Um, Kurara is basically a meat tank. He's very, very good. He can take a lot of punches. Um, very, very good in my honest opinion. Uh, reduce attack speed by 50% and a taunt. Gives everyone a damage reduction shield of 10%, probably 20%. Uh, and he gives everyone a damage reduction shield just using his uh, not damage, yeah, damage reduction for five seconds using his third ability. That's pretty good. So Karara Rada is in second place, in my opinion. Uh, second place, Shinohara, third place. Best tank overall is obviously going to be Arima Ixa. Uh, just from playing with him as well, he's basically the best tank character in the game. Uh, you could get him from Luxury Jaw, so honestly, he's ranked number one. Karara Rada, number two, Shidohara Rada, number three. But before y'all jump to conclusions, all of them are good. 
all the tanks are good, but these are just ranking the tanks from best to worst, basically. Uh, so, look at his skills. Blast. Uh, dashes forward, dealing damage to enemies along his path. Basically, just as, it's basically a dash. Uh, next, it's shield form. Switches defense form by using his quink gate to withstand damage from the front. While in defense form, movement speed will be reduced, and incoming damage will be returned to the attacker. Uh, basically, he's not getting hit. <laughs> That's basically what it hit. That's basically what it means. Um, he does get. I don't know why it doesn't say this unless it doesn't do it no more. But he does regen health off of the shield. When he does use the shield, it's basically if whoever hits him, that's how much he heals up. Um, don't know why it doesn't show it in the skill. It, you, I'm pretty sure it used to show you in the skill. It's not there now, but if you hit somebody with Arima X and they have the shield up, they will regen health. Uh, burst. Arima thrusts his queen gate forward, uh, letting spires arise from the ground, dealing massive damage, dealing massive damage to enemies in front. So you could basically spam your shield into burst, shield into burst. It's very, very annoying. And this is what makes him very, very, very good. His passive. Add the shield to nearby enemies after using burst. The shield absorbs a set of damage, amount of damage for 5 seconds. So, every time you use your third ability, you have a shield for 5 seconds. A damage set. Like, there's a certain amount of damage they could do uh, to you for 5 seconds. But, pairing that. So, you have burst. 16 seconds. Um, shield form is, it doesn't tell me how much. But it's like around 12, 11, 11 to 12 seconds. So you do your burst, and then you get 5 seconds with the shield on. And then after you get 5 seconds with the shield on, your shield form will come up again. It's literally, basically, you're spamming a lot. There's only like, probably 5 to 7 seconds where, probably not even that, probably like 3, probably 3 to 6 seconds where you actually take damage. Without a shield up, uh, like you literally your shield form up, or... A shield that you get from your passive, basically. Uh, he's very, very good. I do like him. Very, very nice. Um, four star. He reduces skill cooldown to eight percent, so you can spam your abilities even more. So you have a shield. Uh, the shield does taunt. By the way, it does taunt you. So it taunts. Basically, you cannot move. That is implemented in the game. That means you really can't move if that shield is on you. Uh, actually, I think that's why they took. I think I'm pretty sure you they heal if you do hit them. Uh, Cause I know if he puts the shield up, you cannot move. So that shield does everything. <laughs> him literally, his second ability does everything. It gives him a shield. You can't hit him. It regens health, and you cannot move. So I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Even from a distance, even if you're like close enough to the shield, you cannot move. Um, I'm pretty sure it still heals if you do hit him. I could be wrong, but every time I hit this trial boss Arima, he does heal every time I every time he has a shield up. So, and then next five star life twenty percent. The co the condition to trigger bravery has been changed to use any skill. So any of your abilities, you you, you use your first ability, you have a shield for five seconds. You use your second ability, you have another shield for five seconds. You use your third ability, you have another shield for five seconds. So you can get a total of fifteen seconds. I'm pretty sure you could stack, even if it doesn't stack. You can literally activate your skills, activate the shield every time the shield goes away. Uh, so literally, at five star, everyone on your team has a shield. Basically, <laughs> literally everyone will have a shield for the entire period of time. Wish I had a remix to show you, but uh, I don't. Uh, bravery adds a shield to nearby enemies after using burst. The shield absorbs a set amount of damage and lasts four or five seconds. So you take 23% absorption rate. Um, then bravery to uh, adds a shield to, to nearby enemies. It's the same thing, uh, but literally it activates on any skill. Any skill you use, you will have a shield up. Um, even if it doesn't stack, you know, you can stack for 15 seconds. Literally, after the shield goes away the first time, use another ability, it's back up like nothing. So just literally, if you time it perfectly, your whole team will take only a certain amount of damage for the entire fight. If they are weak enough, then obviously they will not even do anything to you at all. So, that's my ranking list. Arima Ixa, number one. Kurara Rada, number two. Shinohara, number three. Um, if you get Arima Ixa five stars, she's basically over for anybody that fights you. So literally, he's the best SSR tank in the game. Um, this is literally, ho hopefully this helps you pick when it asks, um, what's the best tank if you do have all three of them? Obviously, you could run two of them. That's literally up to you. Um, but honestly, all the tanks are very, very good. Uh, there's no... Actually, there is one that outstands the other one. Uh, all of them are good, 
But Arima Ixa is much better than Karai Rada and Shinohara, in my opinion. In my opinion, at least. So, uh, but they are all good. Trust me, they are all good and do what they are made for. All that take damage and everything. So, even though you have them, I would advise using them. Unless you have like a 5-star tank. Um, I would try to get your SSRs to at least 4-star your tanks. If you have both 5-star SRs on your team. Um, I would wait till you get a 4-star SSR. Shinohara, Kurara, or Arima Ixa. Arima Ixa actually is fine at 3-star. But Shinohara and Kurara. Uh, Kurara. I can't, I can't say his name no more. Uh, you would want them at 4-star specifically. Arima Ixa is literally fine at 3-star. Um, with the other two, you want to make them 4-stars at least. But other than that, uh, it's going to conclude the video, guys. Uh, thank you if you actually stayed till the end. Um, this FYI, if you have stayed to the end, I will upload a code video later on tonight. Uh, I will be giving away codes and uh, comments down below. Um, other than that, I'll keep you guys updated on what time. I'll probably post it on Twitter. Um, but I will be posting a video later on giving more codes away in the comments. Probably another five to six codes. Um, other than that, it's going to conclude the video, guys. Hope you guys have a nice day. Um, other than that, if you guys liked the video, smash that like button, subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.